Hello, welcome to Hatton Games. Recently a new update dropped and I just want to go over it briefly. So first of all we've got Dreamhack and the new stickers for Dreamhack 2014. Um, as well as the Pick'em Challenge. Pick'em Challenge was fun and I'm really glad to see it's been brought back to this major. Um, last one was at Cologne. I think I got a silver medal on Cologne. I was so close to getting gold but you know hopefully I'll do a bit better this time round. Uh, the stickers for this major are again a completely different design, they seem to have gone with a square pattern for this one. Now a lot of people are complaining about the stickers not looking as good as they did at the first major of Katowice, and you know I agree they don't look as good, the simplistic logo design from Katowice was definitely better, but um, you know obviously Valve can't just keep the same design, they need to vary it from major to major, otherwise what will happen is the, the originals from Katowice, they're value will go down significantly because you know they're not rare anymore if if they're going to look the same each each major so yeah the foil ones are of course worth more due to their rarity but some of the hollows actually look pretty impressive uh, my favorite has to be cloud nines purely because it stands out from the rest with the blue color scheme i have no idea on which organization the sticker will be worth the most but i'm guessing it will have a direct correlation with their performance in the tournament okay so moving on to operation vanguard there have been a few changes with how the mission cooldowns work if you've not been playing for a while and are unable to complete missions, you can now build up a backlog to grind through without any delay. This just means that it doesn't matter at what date you start the operation, you can still complete it and get the same rewards if you are dedicated enough. On to the main changes now and I'm sure a lot of you will be happy to see these. Uh, there have been three new restrictions to competitive matchmaking. The first of which makes it so that if a player doesn't have a skill group, they will not be able to queue in a party with a player of a very high skill group. The reason Valve have done this is just to prevent people making throwaway accounts, using cheats and boosting their friends to global. Uh, the second restriction is that new accounts without a skill group are restricted to two competitive wins per day until they reach their skill group. This is obviously to try and deter people from smurfing and to stop hackers with new accounts reaching the main skill groups to ruin games. It's not the ideal solution, there have been a lot of better suggestions to heavily delay the new hackers and smurf accounts, but at least it's a step in the right direction. The third and final restriction is that unless you're in a party of five, you won't be able to queue if the skill group range is very large. This is clearly to try and prevent boosting companies that take payment from lower skill groups to rank them up. Obviously though, it can still happen as you know you need a full party of five and then you can just do it again. So I think these three changes to matchmaking are really interesting and it just shows that Valve are definitely paying attention to the problems surrounding the game. I do think however there are a lot of other methods that are more effective but like I said at least we are headed in the right direction. The last thing to mention which is a really cool feature that I'm sure a lot of casters will be happy to see. Spectators can now follow grenades through the air by pressing the left alt key. This will track the grenade until it either lands or explodes mid-air. Now I know Anders has been uh, requesting this ages ago, ages ago, and it's finally being added just before DreamHack, so awesome stuff, great to see that. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the update, particularly on the new matchmaking restrictions that Valve have put in place. Are they efficient enough or do we need a completely different system? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.